finding a job could be super hard. Between the hours looking for the actual job to sending out applications, going through the interview process, getting rejected, or any other setback in between, it's hard and it takes a lot of energy. But in today's video, I will give you about 10 tips and strategies that you can do to find job opportunities. My name is Daniela, and I recently came home from studying abroad. When I came back from Italy, I found myself getting ready to work. But two weeks before I was going to start, I was told the opportunity was no longer available. So this is when I had to scramble, exhaust all of my different ways of finding a job. And within 42 days, I was able to land a freelance gig. So the first strategy you're going to want to do is tap into your network. All the people that you know, you need to send out a text or call them and let them know your situation and be like, I'm looking for a job. Do you know of anybody in this field? Or if you're not looking for a specific field, you're just looking to work, do you know of any openings? Word of mouth goes a very long way. Matter of fact, that's how I got my first internship. I got it through a professor at my school. I didn't have to look. She just said they're hiring and I think you would be a great fit. She talked to them and then they wanted to talk to me. So word of mouth is very valuable. So when you're tapping into your network, you're going to want to look at your mentors in the field. This could be teachers. This could be other people you've worked with in the past. You can tap into where they've worked. Maybe they're no longer working there or maybe they're leaving a certain job to relocate. So just tap into the people that you know within your field. You can also tap into your alumni, whether this is through the actual students themselves and the actual alumni, if you have their numbers, of course, reach out to them. You can reach out to your school and connect you with people in your field. They also may be able to give you a referral or advice for looking for different opportunities. And yeah, so tap into the alumni. A next strategy that may work for you is tapping into the organizations of your field. So for example, I'm in interior design and two organizations that I belong to are ASID and IIDA. On their website, they actually have job search and then you can check your location, you can filter it depending on their filter features, and you can find a job near you if they have any postings. Or if it's not through their website and you're just really close acquainted with the people within the organizations like ASID, IIDA, or whatever is in your field, tap into those people and ask them if they know of any jobs that are available in your field right now. I know IIDA and ASID also hold different job networking opportunities that you can also tap into. I know for students, they have them, and I've been to a couple during school, and it's a great opportunity to find jobs or find people in that field that can connect you to other people. So it's like this spider web that you're kind of creating for yourself. Somebody has to know somebody, and everybody's connected and within the six degrees of separation. That leads me to my next point, which I kind of covered, which is those professional workshops and networking events that they hold. Even if you're not part of a membership or organization in that way, sometimes they offer free events that you can go to and just network your butt off. You're going to want to talk to everybody. Make sure you have some, what are they called? Oh, make sure you have business cards. I forgot because I didn't even bring any last event I went to and I should have, but I got everybody's business card and then like I went on LinkedIn. But Anyways, make sure you have your own business cards, print out a couple resumes, you can hand them out that way and just start connecting with people because you never know what opportunity could be on the other side. Another strategy you can use to find job opportunities would be like the online job searching websites. So whether that's Glassdoor, Indeed, LinkedIn, etc. Look on those websites and I know this can be exhausting because I, I've spent, I think maybe close to like an hour or two just scrolling and trying to filter out certain jobs and find what I'm looking for and what you'll do is you'll save them and then go through the list again and then continue to just weed out the ones that maybe are too far or maybe just don't fit what you're actually looking for after you read the job description even if you read the requirements maybe you need like five years of work for a certain thing like and you do not qualify I would still depending on what you're looking for and you if you think that you are qualified enough for the job, still apply. But if you're freshly out of school and maybe this is your first job, don't apply and just like take that off your list. So yeah, so you have to be very picky and choosy when it comes to certain jobs. Read everything. Another tip, I want to circle back to LinkedIn. So LinkedIn could be so, so powerful. So I'm going to give you a little tip that I've done in the past. So basically, anybody that I have on LinkedIn as a connect, what I will do is I will go to their profile, let's say a, a few like professors that, that taught me. I go to their profile and then I look at their job history and then I look up those firms. And then from there, I go to those firms websites and I see if they're hiring or 
I contact that person that I've kind of been stalking their job history and I just say, hey, I've noticed you worked at such and such firm. I was wondering if you know anybody that has a job opening and then they can ask. And then that kind of becomes your word of mouth into the job that you want. But again, that's only if they have job opportunities. So I don't know if that's kind of like a weird tip, but I definitely do go through my professors and anybody's job history because if they have worked in a firm that I wanted to work for, then it just makes it easier because they might know somebody that still works there. They are somebody of reputable source. If you're enjoying these tips so far to gain job opportunities, please hit that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So another way that you can find job opportunities would be through company websites. So I kind of hit that when I was talking about the LinkedIn stuff because you would go right to their website at the end of the day. But certain firms that you really want to work with, you can look up obviously on their website, go to their careers tab if they have one, which most do. And you can see job openings right there. If it's a bigger firm, they might have different locations if you're willing to relocate. If not, you can see what opportunities that they have available in your state and go on from there. I know in the past I found a job on Indeed and then I, instead of applying through Indeed, I went to the, the actual website of the firm and then I went to their careers tab. And then from there, I applied through their career center portal to get an interview for a job. The position was an intern position, which I think is still like, even though I've already been an intern and I would like to move up, I still applied for the job because it's a different firm. So I would have to learn their ways. And it was the only thing that they had available. They didn't have a junior position. They just had interns. So I applied for it anyway. And I got an interview. And then from that process, I basically told them like, yes, I, this is an intern position, but if you have anything available, contact me. You know what I mean? So even if you feel overqualified, still apply. And then when you go into the job, if you get an interview opportunity, tell them why you're here. And yeah, that's another experience I had. Another very cool opportunity that you can do to try and get a job or just learn more about a job that you are thinking of getting into is job shadowing. I don't think it's been popularized like i've never heard of somebody being like oh i'm i'm job shadowing today when you're looking for schools you shadow students but jobs it's very different so this was a unique opportunity that i have had the chance to do and basically you can reach out to professionals in a certain job and just tell them that you're interested tell them your situation whether you are newly out of college or just shifting gears and trying to find a new job and seeing what you really want to do and you can ask them if you can shadow somebody for a day and that's a great opportunity just to see whether you like the job or not because i've heard of stories actually when i was job shadowing somebody one of the people that i was shadowing their colleague had told me about a story that they wanted to be an architect in the future but they shadowed someone and they realized that that's not what they want to do so it could be a very good learning experience for you to figure out if that's exactly what you want to do whether you love it or you hate it and shadowing somebody is just something that is not popular nothing that i've ever heard of so try it reach out to somebody say i really want to shadow you guys and then you can learn more about the firm that way this also puts you in direct contact with employers there if they like you, if like good chemistry and they see that you're a good fit and you actually end up liking it. And if they're hiring, there's a potential job opportunity right there. This also depending on who you're shadowing. So for example, in my situation, I was shadowing a manufacturing rep. So it was for a lighting company. Even if you're not interested in, let's say lighting, but you're still interested in interior design, the lighting manufacturers work with interior designers. So they're gonna know a bunch of different contacts, whether that's big firms or small firms, hospitality firms, more commercial, more residential, they have contacts because the designers go to them for their specialty in lighting design. So this is a great way to even branch out and tap into their connects and make them your little networking web. And yeah, so it, everything is inter interconnected and there's so many different opportunities that you can find within just talking to people because if I want to work at a certain job, I can get a connect through a rep that I know or through word of mouth. And it's just, I feel like creating and nourishing those connections and those relationships go very, very far in certain industries and well in life really. So this is something that has happened to me. 
I was able to branch out and learn more about a certain design firm. Leading us into our next strategy for finding opportunities is like an informal interview with the whole lighting company shadowing for a day, which was super awesome because I learned about a whole different world about reps. But through them, I was able to connect with another firm. And we kind of went on this like informal interview introduction type of thing. So these are really super cool and unique experiences where you can go to their office, learn more about them, what they do, career paths, just how they work. So informal interviews could be at their office or you can even just connect with somebody and go to lunch and just learn more about the field that way and more about what they do, their industry, how their office works or how their showroom works. So yeah, I've also had another opportunity to get a showroom tour and then this led to kind of like an informal interview where I learned more about the firm, they learned more about me. And it was just a great opportunity. So definitely take advantage of all these unique experiences to learn more about the field that you want to get in. And this all eventually will break open ways to connect with people, build your network in that field. And then these can lead to potential job opportunities in the future. There is a lot more ways that you can find a job or job opportunities around your area. But those were just a few that I've had in my experience that I think are opening doors that I don't even know about right now. A lot of my tips revolve around creating relationships in the field because I feel like it's the most important thing to do because let's face it, it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. And one person knows another person who can connect you to another person. And then you have an opportunity right in front of you that you never would have had if you didn't make that first connection. So it's about who you know. So put yourself out there and do not give up on the grind to find a job or opportunities for your future. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next. Bye!